There is no denying that everyone needs a daily planner if they want to be productive. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and if at any point you would like to check these apps out, then you can do so from the description below. I won't be revealing the name of these apps in the description, so you have to click on the links. Essentially, a daily planner can help you prioritize your daily goals, schedule appointments, have a to-do list, a notes section, and better if it has a dedicated urgent section. Something to also note is that a student's planner will look totally different from a manager, so it's important to pick the right one rather than running behind abstract features. Soon there will be videos about teams and other spaces so make sure you are subscribed. Starting off on the fifth position we have ClickUp. ClickUp is a jack of all trades claiming to be one of the replacement for all productivity apps. It can handle tasks, goals, charts and has a Kanban board like whiteboard, then a dashboard, corner to manage multiple spaces, etc. It's a lot, I know, but we can take advantage of it as the app lets you choose how our board should be customized. This can be set up as daily planning app using calendar and to do. Of course, then the calendar can be viewed in daily, weekly or monthly mode and tasks can be set up easily. Talking about the pricing, the app is actually free forever for some limited and personal use, which is exactly why I picked it. Even the small team plan is $7 a month per member if anyone is looking for it. Next we have on the list is Google Keep. You didn't see that coming, did you? Of course, anyone would think it's for dummies, but that's not my point here. If you just look at the app, it's so simple, clean, sleek, and totally on its value proposition. With Google's integration over all its apps and accounts, there possibly could be no good and free alternative than Keep integrated with Calendar. Even our tasks are easy to create, manage and set up with embed feature from Google Calendar. And we can add team or family members to manage collaborative tasks. Just see, I can write keep.new in my browser window and it gives me a new writable clean notepad. Ability to add doodles and photos allows it to race with other competitors. If you are starting out on your journey and want to take control while learning to make your own comfortable style of planning, then it's best to have this ecosystem. Moving on to the third platform, we have Serene. Currently, it's a Mac-only app, but as per their website, a window support is coming soon. As per report, they have more than a million users, and why not? It's visible in their offerings. Basically, Serene prompts you to define one goal each day and then break your day down into sessions where you can set the defined time and start working on. Multiple sessions can be added, which means multiple tasks. As I usually say, productivity starts with simplicity and minimalistic approach. In line with this, the most notable feature of Serene is that when you enter a session, Serene shields you from distractions by blocking distracting apps and it can also silence your phone, control internet connected lights, update your Slack status and more to help you create your deep work environment. Note just this, the app has countdown timers and focus music unlike other apps in the system. No doubt if you are a student, researcher, marketing guy or simply looking to focus I can place my bet on Serene and no it's not a paid promotion or sponsorship. Talking about its pricing we see that it's just $4 a month which seems to me a very worthy price and if you just want to try it out once you can get all the features for 10 deep work hours for free. No credit card required, check out the link in the description. Too long, let's talk further. I would not talk extensively about further two apps as there is no ending to it. So worry not, there are full length videos coming on the way. But for now, let's move on to the next one. Any do. Yeah, AnyDo. AnyDo is a team plus individual app which unlike ClickUp focuses equally on teams and individuals. It reduces a hell lot of unwanted features and just keeps the important ones for daily planning and project management. You will find the app very easy to use, intuitive and faster than other apps in the category as it improves the experience of the user by largely reducing extra clicks, which honestly I was looking for some time. For the same reason, I'm looking forward to release the full length explained video in a few days. So stay connected by turning on the bell icon on the channel. You can organize all your to do's in the list and projects, color tag them to set priorities and categories, adding no 
moods, subtasks and attachments is of course available here. Adding reminders and reoccurring or repeat tasks is possible too. Another notable feature is that it can integrate with a lot of apps to then create a shared ecosystem and make your work of managing your tasks too easy. Talking about availability, well see yourself. Except Linux, there's hardly anything left. Rather, you get support for even Apple Watch and Wear OS. And worry not, all this is seamlessly updated with each other. In pricing, we see that the personal account is again free. Definitely worth checking out as their app ecosystem is very well built too. Still, if you want to get taste of easing features, premium plan is just $3 and you get reoccurring task setups, WhatsApp reminders, color tags, 5000 plus app integrations. That's really something. Again, you can try it out from the description. I don't think if you really are looking anything after any do, but the next and final app might change your mind. Todoist. Todoist is loaded with features that anyone would be attracted to. For example, you can add tasks to your account by sending an email to Todoist as tasks or comment after integrating the app with your account. Todoist is quick and has features which lets you add a task super fast so that it clears up your head and then afterwards you can give it a proper time to set up etc. Of course, tasks can have sections which then have subsections or subtasks. It can be flagged or given priority levels with color codes. If you have a lot of tasks, then rather than having a calendar, you can open the boards to give you a bird's eye view to see the big picture with Kanban style boards. This all is achieved by using labels you put up on your tasks. Todoist also gives you filters to shorten the search time or get selected view of your plans. What differentiates this app more is visualizations of your productivity. Like you get colorful charts displaying your achievements history to provide you more confidence. Have a completed task archive as well which can be exported etc. For personal space there is a beginner plan for $0 and is upgradable to pro which I'm sure anyone would take up once they are in the ecosystem because it's built in such a way. The free plan is limited to just 5 projects which comes to 300 on pro plan but that's I believe is fine if you are looking to make life easy and want to build habits with help on way. Again you can try this and all the apps from the description below. Finally this was a video to help you guys with a basic guide on how to choose correct daily planner app with some good and different apps. You can choose which one fits well in your routine or your pocket. Again before going I should inform you that there are a lot of good more videos on the way so don't miss out on those and for that you need to stay notified to the channel. Now if you are looking for a productive web browser then I would recommend you watch this video right here and you can watch my recent video from here. Like share subscribe stay safe bye bye.